I always hated the title of this level, You Live and Limb. I thought it was stupid, because it's apparently, it's obviously supposed to be a play on, you know, You Live and Learn. But Limb doesn't sound anything like Learn, so it's not really a pun. It's like the current Kraft Macaroni and Cheese boxes they have that say uh, they're Halloween themed, and they say Trick or Cheesy! With, it's like, what is that? That's not, that's not a pun of any sort. Although what I do love about this level, aside from its title, is that the fact that it looks like a giant roving beast. You got its backbone right here, and kind of this Neanderthal head shape type thing, and a rib cage where the brain is supposed to be. It looks very anthropomorphic to me, and I just really, uh, I really enjoy that. This game had some pretty amazing level layouts, but I'm just kind of letting them go on at pace at their own speed. I'm not using any blockers because, frankly, that would be quite a bit of a waste of time. But here we have our first trap that's just sitting in front of us. Kind of a steel bear trap type of thing. And if the lemmings get caught up in it, you know, they will, uh, their head, their bodies will get chomped up and the heads will bounce up in the air. I will, of course, show it off because, you know, we're at that point where we don't have to save every lemming. We can still do these types of things. So you just have to build over it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Okay, everybody should be safe now. I built a few bridges over that just to make everybody feel nice and safe and happy. Okay, it's not going to build up to the point. Okay, good. Wow, that is a pretty thick little bridge right there. Dang. But now they can all walk to the exit. There's nothing else to do from that point. There's a bridge over the water, thankfully, which seems to have a lot of backwash in it, actually. Don't spit your water back into the water lemmings. That's gross. And we got a straggler, I see. Well, he's just going to have to get blown up, because I don't feel like waiting on him. Although, if there was something blocking them that, uh... That's not going to go all the way through, is it? Okay, no. Good. Whew! So now they're all walking in their line in the exit. That's a simple level. It's got your first example of a trap that you need to account for and build around. So it is notable in that way. But again, stupid title. Also reminds me of live and let die when Paul McCartney says in this world in which we live in like super duper super duper redundant now this level looks different and has different music as you will notice it's very somber and chilling and what's up with this background well Every difficulty rating has one special level that doesn't look like any of the others in the game. And they are based on other Psygnosis games. This one is called A Beast of a Level. It's based on Psygnosis' earlier release, Shadow of the Beast. Uh, only in appearance and everything like that. There are no traps or anything to trip you up here. But these levels are usually pretty simple. They're usually just like exercises in like getting one lemming from point A to point B and letting the others just kind of sit back and wait for him to do his thing. If you uh, do it right up close to the trees, you can actually uh, save on the amount of bashers you use, especially like uh, right here. He should just keep going. Like they'll walk over it and everything, but the basher will just keep going and doing his thing. So if you get right up on the trees before you start bashing, you'll save some you'll save some bashers that way. And uh, these, are, these are great little songs in these special levels, too. You can always hear these songs by going to these special levels, because they're designed especially for these levels. Oh, so good. Such good music in these special levels. They're always a treat to play, because not only do they look great, but they're also really uh, not that difficult. So now we just need to build a zigzag bridge up to the exit. This is going to be the first time we build a bridge of that nature. Oh god, they're starting to co-mingle. Here we go. I want to build up to the left and then to the right. And of course I put a blocker at the beginning there so uh, everybody is safe and, you know, not falling off the map or anything. Well, I sure hope this will uh, reach the top of the hill. I'm starting to have my doubts. Of course I want to run into the tree. And, of course, if it wasn't already obvious, if a lemming runs into a surface while he's building, he will stop. I think that should be enough to get them up to the little curve of the hill there so they can walk up on their own. As long as I don't, like, stretch out my bridge or anything. If I keep it nice and even in length, it should just go. There, oh, hey. Oh, well, there I go talking about not stretching it. That can happen by accident sometimes if you don't see your guy walk off the side. 
he'll walk a few steps and you might catch him in the nick of time. That'll stretch out your bridge. It'll make it longer in length, but it'll also make it smaller in height. So there are advantages and disadvantages to stretching out your bridges. And now it's just a... Uh, I like to get up on the hump of the tree where they can walk up to for some reason. Home. <laughs> That's so sweet and yet also kind of a uh, kind of heartbreaking. So most of the lemmings are uh, most of the lemmings are through at this point. Nobody is going to be walking back, so we can go ahead and uh, blow up the we can go ahead and blow up the blocker. But yeah, these levels are uh, the games that these levels paid homage to are now, funnily enough, ironically I guess more obscure than Lemmings. Shadow of the Beast and Shadow of the Beast 2 are probably the only ones anyone is going to have heard of. The other two are really obscure at this point. I've never played them in any event. Not that that means that they're obscure. If I've never played it, mm, far be it from me, of course. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll be seeing a few of these throughout the game. Every difficulty rating has one version of We All Fall Down and one special level with a special map, so that's a beast of a level for Well, the title of the level may be I've Lost That Lemming Feeling, but I am nowhere near losing that lemming feeling. I am on a roll. I've got momentum. And you'll see in this level graffiti that says Exit which might suggest the presence of hidden exits. However, there are none, at least going this way. There is actually a hidden exit hidden under one of the exits, but it's off over this way under this exit. We will see this level again, so I'll show it off for you. But um, for now, we are just going to go over to the visible exits on the far left, and you want to watch out for uh, Mr. Fire Puffer there. It's kind of well hidden. So we're just going to we set a blocker up in here so that nobody can get through while Mr. Guy goes about his lovely little business. And we'll have to just use bashers to get through. We're going to go kind of low so that we can avoid the fire puffer. Oh, hey, I've got blockers out, not bashers. That would be terrible. All right, and now we're going to, uh, let's go ahead and mine, actually, so that we can uh, take the lower route. And then we'll uh, bash our way through. And at this point, he should be able to get up to... I think he'll just keep going. Nope. He can get a little higher, so let's take advantage of that. I think I may have bashed at a bad point, actually. But uh, I can recover from this as long as I have my builders out in a timely fashion. So there he goes. I don't think there's an exit under here, though, quite frankly, I've never gone high enough to check. But uh, these are the ones you want to get to for now, especially if you're just starting to play the game and you're not used to stuff like hidden exits yet. I mean, you can even go to these exits in the second version of this level. Okay, here he goes. He's building up to that little zigzaggy point, and he's going to turn around. He's not going to be able to get all 12 tiles out. So to save some time, we're going to turn him around, and we're going to make him build to hit his head. If you hit your head on the ceiling, they will also stop. So now he's going to go through this way, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the others free. I did set it to 99, right? Okay, good. Wait, what? What did I do there? Okay, that was a little strange. I don't know why I didn't have my bombers out. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a silly pants. But anyway, here we go. Is he going to get through this one, or is he going to stop short? Nope, he's going to keep going through on to the end. Hooray! Hooray! And there they go. And once they've all turned around, they've got a straight path so I can go ahead and blow his ass up too. So we got a nice little path there. Not too difficult of a level, especially with the uh, 20 of everything. These fun levels are uh, easy like that. They'll give you all you need so that you can actually find uh, multiple solutions through a level if you want to. You, you, can, you, have room to uh, you have room to explore and find weird and crazy ways through levels if you wanted to do so. If you wanted to do something completely labyrinthine, you could. But there they go. That was a simple level. Another one in the can. A little bit long, yes, but what level isn't just kind of pointlessly long at this point? This level is called Kombanwa Lemming San, and I used to think that was some sort of, like, tribal gibberish that they made up just for, like, some kind of weird lemming language, but as it turns out, 
Now that I've grown older and a little more tuned into culture, I realize that's actually Japanese for good night living. <laughs> the things we don't know when we're kids. This is a really easy and really super short level. I like to just dig a bunch of guys through before they get mashed up by the masher. Just dig a giant hole right there and you're done in a matter of seconds. This one is super short and super easy, despite the 99 release rate. Here's another one where they come pouring out at 99, but again, simple. Just get your bashers out, wait for them to get to the top, and we're going to bash through this little thin wall right here. And once we bash through this little thin wall, we're going to bash through this little thin wall. And then we're going to dig through this giant spider web type thing, which looks really cool and actually figures into one of the taxing levels later in uh, one of the more difficult levels of this particular type. Okay, and then bash, and then... And then just start digging your little heart out. Oh no, 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 why are they escaping? That's bad. Oh no, why are they splattering? That's even worse. But you only have to save like 25% here. This is a, this is an easy level. And then you just dig through like that, and they start falling through to the exit. That's a lot of women's to be dying, actually, so uh, I'm going to actually send them back. There they go. Now they'll turn around, and that guy is still digging through that little post. How about that? You keep on trucking, little lemming guy. Mm-hmm. That was kind of a hectic level, but now it's just kind of passing by in silence, and I think they're all going to die. So just whatever. We're going to end it there for today. See you guys for the end of fun tomorrow. Wait, there's one left. Oh, yes, Mr. Blocker. Forgot about you. Well, then we'll blow you up, and then we'll call it a day, and we'll uh, try to finish off the fun rating tomorrow, although there is at least one super long level that may prevent us from doing that yet. See you guys.